Welcome back everybody to Crapsburg. I know it's been a while since we played, but uh, we are back now. While the camera was off, I did a little bit of road upgrading just because as I was about to switch off, I noticed that um, a lot of my power stations couldn't get coal and a lot of the services were a bit screwed up because of that. So I went ahead and up upgraded these roads to six lanes and uh, then put some branching highways in here like this and try to keep the main artery here of the city flowing and then put some big highways into leading into the industrial area so we are here we are back this is crapsburg um i did decide on a name for this region here but before we get to that i've got a couple of announcements obviously you're going to notice that this video is only 15 minutes long. That's thanks to all of the bollocks that's been happening on the channel recently. If you're not aware of any of that, then uh, I'll put a link in the description and maybe an annotation on screen right now for you to go and watch the vlog on that. It's not very long. There's only about five minutes of explanation. And then there's about five minutes of having a tour, tour of the new bar. But other than that, it's quite a short video and it'll, it'll uh, fill you in on why the videos are only 15 minutes. Secondly to that, I've decided to go ahead with the plan of having a second channel. So again, I'm probably going to have another vlog coming out later today or it may have actually come out before this video. I'm not too sure what the upload schedule is going to be for that. So it may have already gone out and it may have been explained. But if it hasn't, if this video goes up first, then I have decided to go with the two channel option, if you know what I'm talking about. So what you can do these videos because I think 15 minutes is a bit restrictive for a city building style game. Uh, the rest of these episodes are going to be going up, oh, that was a mistake, on the new channel. So again, I'll put a link in the description for the new channel and I'll put an annotation on the screen for the new channel and you can go and check that out. And if you are a fan of the City Skyline series, that's where the videos are going to be going from now on. From now on, you can only watch City Skylines on, uh, on that new channel won't be on this channel anymore just because I think having the videos limited to 15 minutes is uh, going to be very, very restrictive going forward and uh, probably not very fun for anybody. just going to go ahead and get rid of these while I can. So yeah, if you're a fan of the game or you're just a fan of me in general, go ahead and follow and subscribe to the new channel. There will still be stuff going up on this one, but the bulk of the content will be going up on the new channel now. So this channel is just going to be basically to funnel new subscribers into that uh, into that new channel. So waffled on for three minutes. That only leaves us twelve minutes of actual gameplay. So the shoe over here have decided that. Uh, well, let's just double check that it is the right painted area. It is. So. I'm going to go ahead and rename this one. I really liked the idea of calling it uh, Mullison Heights because that... Uh, this bloody Twitter thing. Get out of my way. Oh, bugger off. Right, here we go. So I really like the idea of calling it Mullison Heights. It's totally escaped me whose idea that was now, but I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that. But fantastic idea. We're going to go for policies and... Uh, a lot of people wanted recreational drug use and parks and recreation. So we're going to go for recreational drug use and parks and rec. Uh, incidentally, do we have a park here? We do have a park, so that's great. Uh, might want a second one, though. What's this? This is a small playground. And we're going to bulldoze some people's houses to put a playground in. How big is the park? Park's pretty large. That gets rid of, far, what, five houses? That does also... That only gets rid of three houses. We'll plonk that there. There we go. Some more uh, more parks for people. They are going to be happy. Uh, some buildings are getting abandoned. And I think some rubbish is starting to pile up. So we may have to go... And yeah, rubbish is definitely piling up. Let's double check our landfill. That's 86% full. It might be time to go and invest in an incinerator. If we are able to buy one yet. Nope, we need a population of 7,000. Which uh, we're not going to reach because our population is actually decreasing. What we can do is put our... We'll lower our taxes to... Um, 
promote growth. I mean, we're making plenty of money at the moment. We really don't need our taxes that high. Uh, they're out of electricity. Holy crap. Now, also, great advice on the make sure you get your wind farms in the 8 megawatt range. And then uh, they work out so much more cost effective. And... Um, that is fantastic, fantastic advice. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to start phasing out the coal power plants and moving over to green energy. Just want to wait for these to kick in and see where we are. We're really still there. So I'll plant another three. Oh, God, was that seven? Motherfuckers. <laughs> right? So there we go. We're up into the green again. It's going to be, it's going to be a huge, huge outlay uh, to get ourselves up into just using green energy i mean look at that we're already we're gonna have to raise the taxes again i think actually we'll maybe put them up to seven percent i think is probably a good area that's still a two percent tax cut on where we were uh a building has burned down that's fine what's our fire coverage like over here it is bad our fire coverage is bad, <laughs> uh, to say the least. Right, I guess it's time... No, oh, they're not happy about the rubbish. I guess it's time to have um, a new highway. We're going to run a highway off here. God damn, that's going to be expensive. Uh, and we're going to run some roads. Probably... Have them curved around a bit. So if we put that there. And have that curve up to there. That would be nice. But. We don't have the money just yet. That would be a. That would be a nice curve. I think it needs to be a little bit. Further out. For it to be a perfect curve. That looks about right. How much is that going to be? Six grand. Uh, we're nearly there. We're making money again. Taxes are back to 7%. It's not quite as low as I wanted it to be, but it is still going to be promoting growth. And it's still a 2% tax cut compared to what we had before. Rubbish is really starting to pile up now. We need to get to this 7,000 population as quickly as possible so that... Uh, do I really want to do that? Do I really want to have a single lane road branching directly off this? Um, I'm not sure if I do. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll run some roads between here. Um... And the highway, like so. This is a nice... Uh, oh, what's that? Not enough money. Oh, God, out of cash already. Right, let's uh, let's quickly zone some housing. Because uh, the people appear to be desperate. We'll zone a little bit of commercial there. Got to keep the commercial up a little bit. And uh, we'll have some more... In fact, are these one-way roads? Two-lane, one-way road. Oh, have I just planted a load of one-way roads? No, no, this looks two-lane. Is it? Two-lane road with trees. Yes, thank God for that. I thought I'd made an awful, awful mistake. Uh, we'll have that come in there. That gets us a nice big block of residential. And then we can put some commercial at the end there. I'm sure I can hear seagulls uh, in this game. Oh, they're going to need water connections. Yes, they are. We'll run a pipe down here. Should do for now. Right, that'll get us a little bit more residential. Hopefully, it'll get us up to... Oh, my God. This is... Uh, it's not going very well over here in Elm Park. Let's, um, let's actually extend Elm Park. I'm glad uh, somebody was able to let me know in the comments that you can change the brush size of this which is fantastic let's see if there's any policies we can implement in elm park uh, to help them out policies a pet ban recycling free public transport there's no actual public transport over here uh, slightly reduced garbage accumulation slightly reduced tax income yeah we'll, we'll have recycling in elm park uh, we'll have a pet ban, uh, and that will 
that'll all reduce rubbish build up but we really need an incinerator which means we really need to get to this 7000 population as quickly as we can hopefully we can get a little bit more this is going to have to be a curved road I think so we'll run it out to maybe there curve it no that's not going to work maybe run it out from there maybe curve it around we've got nowhere near enough money nah scrap that okay we'll see if we can get a straight road in here cuts off a little bit of usage there but we can we can get the housing that we need I know garbage is piling up and I really really need to invest in an incinerator but I just don't have the population yet city planners say I'm not allowed I'm, I'm not responsible enough to own an incinerator just yet I'm gonna demolish a load of these abandoned buildings are they on fire oh god I really need a fire brigade well I guess uh, I guess we're gonna have oops I thought that one was uh, abandoned it was just a bag of shit uh, I really think we're going to have to go into debt again, unfortunately. Oh, well, we can't because uh, we're already rather severely in debt. And take a small loan, but I don't really need a small loan. I need a fire department. As Is that currently on fire? I think it is currently on fire. Oh, well. How is the electricity doing? Oh, we're good. We're good for electric at the moment. It's fantastic. That's one less thing that I have to worry about just now. They're good for water. It's zoned. There's no real demand for things. I don't think we're going to hit the 7,000 population here, unfortunately. Uh, garbage is just accumulating everywhere. Are there any options? Are there any options that we have to maybe sell some of our garbage? No. No. I've really got to wait for the... Uh, I, I really don't want to plunk down a second landfill because it's not really... It's going to get used for maybe 10% and then uh, and then I'm going to be onto an incinerator. So I really, I, I really don't want to plunk down a second landfill. Um... When I'm about, well, the thing is, I, c I couldn't afford... Oh, I'm going to have to do it. I couldn't afford it. Um, a whatchamacallit. I couldn't afford an incinerator straight away anyway. Alright, what's the coverage like? If I plonk that down there. It's bad up there. Still bad up there. Alright, I think. Alright, we'll put it next to the... Uh, next to the coal power plant and we'll hopefully see some of this rubbish disappear get rid of the demolished buildings uh, the abandoned buildings even apparently buildings get abandoned when the land value in the area goes down enough for the house level so if it's like a level 2 house but the land value suddenly drops then um, and the house becomes abandoned because uh, no one wants to live in that disgusting shithole anymore oh yeah fire department we're probably going to need another fire department maybe around here uh, medical is looking okay education well these guys aren't getting educated uh, we'll demolish that I'm not sure if you need to demolish the buildings or not or whether they'll just automatically get uh, converted over but you know I don't like Abandoned buildings littering my uh, my town all over the place. Oh, and we're at 14 minutes now, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut the video short there. Like I said, if you want to start watching the longer videos, then head over to my new YouTube channel. I'll put another annotation on the screen about now, and there'll be a link in the description. Um, I'll probably go ahead and put a longer version of this video where we go to 15 minutes. So if you want to see the remaining 15 minutes of this video, you can just go ahead and click over to the new channel now. And you can watch the remaining 15 minutes of this video. So, thanks very much for watching guys. I will see you on the... Oh shit, wrong building. I'll see you on the other side. So welcome back. Bit of a weird transition considering I didn't actually go anywhere, but you guys probably had to do quite a lot of clicking to get here. Why is trash 
still building up. What is going on? Garbage trucks in use a lot, I suppose. No, 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 no. I don't want to empty it. Um, let's have a look in the budget. What have we... What have we got assigned for rubbish collection? I guess we're going to have to put this up to like 110% for now. Just to get this backlog of rubbish cleared. I'm going to leave those two abandoned buildings there for now and see what happens. But it looks like we might hit this magical... 7,000 population for us to be able to get an incinerator. Not that an incinerator is going to solve all of our problems because we still need a fire department down here and probably over here and we need a new school and uh, other things. Why? Why is it so bad? Hundred and twenty five percent the garbage collection will oh yeah it looks oh no the abandoned buildings still remained um all right rubbish is starting to be a big big problem i think it's probably because the services are unable to get through because of my terrible terrible road planning abilities what we're going to do is i think we're going to upgrade some roads uh so we're going to go with four lane road with decorative trees and uh Space already occupied. I don't... Ah, right. It's because of this plaza. So, I think what I'm going to have to do... Is relocate the building. Uh, we will put it... Let's have a think. If we whack it... Down here. That will be better. Everybody's unhappy. That's fine by me. Because, let's face it, you need some new roads. Because congestion is getting a little bit crazy. Right, there we go. People are not very happy about losing their homes, but nothing really we can do about... Well, yeah, nothing really we can do about that. Because uh, we need the progress. Can't halt the progress. There we go, right. I think this could probably do with being a highway as well. And link it up there. I'm probably doing this in an absolutely awful, awful way. Oh god, it looks like we have to move the plaza again. Uh, let's see if we can actually put it back where it was. No, it looks like it doesn't fit. It will fit there though. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> we'll put it there instead. Right, roads. Upgrade, what was it that I was saying? Space already occupied, what is there? A firehouse, police station. Right, let's see if I can relocate these. Uh, fire station there. Police station there, and all I'm going to do is just probably relocate them back to exactly the same place once I've actually upgraded this road. Um, because I liked where they were. So, police station, uh, we'll relocate that back onto the highway. No, that was the fire station. Police station, back onto the highway. What's that? That's a residence. That's a park. Residence, residence. Let's see if we can relocate the park. Pop it there. And let's see about upgrading this road. And what is that that needs relocating? A medical clinic. Right, you can get relocated to here. And then we can go ahead and upgrade this road. There we go. We've got a nice little highway system uh, running through the middle of the town here. Right, let's get so, let's get this rezoned. 
This always messes up the zones. There we go, that should do. Have we gained some extra commercial over here? I think we may have. Which is nice. It's always good to get ex get extra. So a lot of people moving out. I think that's probably just because I demolished all their houses. Or it could be because of the, uh, the rubbish issues. God damn, do I really need a third landfill? I really don't want to do a landfill. Suitable as a service road. Really don't want to put another landfill site in just because as soon as I get an incinerator I'm hoping I won't need it anymore. You know what? I think that's enough industrial over there and I'm going to maybe start zoning some industrial down here just so that I can get um, an offshoot of certain services like um, garbage trucks and rubbish removal and stuff. But Mullison Heights seems to be doing pretty well. If we take a look. Yeah, land value, 33, uh, 33 cents per metre squared. Same as... Uh, Crapsburg Park. The rack is terrible. Yeah. Well, it was always meant to be horrible over here. Nobody really wants to live in the rack. It's kind of where you live when you've got no other choice. Elm Park. Average land value is terrible. Absolutely horrible. Is that burned down? I guess I do need to demolish that. We'll demolish some of these other abandoned buildings while we're here. Why is rubbish such a problem here? There's... What's that? Does that mean it's full? No more room. Okay. Ah, that's why uh, we'll be having garbage problems now. Because our second landfill... Well, our first landfill... Is now full. Meaning our second landfill is our only landfill. So I guess I am going to have to reluctantly plant another one. Because we don't seem to be able to break into that 7,000 population. To get uh, an incinerator just yet. Well, let's get back to um, making this a nice area to live. Um, let's have a think about planning. We're going to need a road that comes out of here. Probably like that. Then we're going to have to meet that road. What's that? Money constraints. Now, that's a horrible, horrible curve. I don't really like it. Let's see what this one's like. It's a little bit better, but again, not enough money. Maybe if we do that as a curve, that would be a nicer curve. I'd be interested to see what the zoning would be like on that. It'll be okay. Not fantastic. I'm 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 getting partial to these squares here. Um but then squares are boring, so we'll just go <laughs> with that. Free form. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready for freeform just yet. Or am I? So if we have the road come down here like that. Come to there. Not enough money. Oh, we really are poor. Right, let's... Um, I know there's nothing else we can really zone. Rubbish is piling up. Everybody hates the area. Industry's got no workers because nobody wants to live here because it's it's full of garbage. I think maybe I should have built another another landfill down here rather than all the way over here. But you know, you live and you learn. Right, we're getting seventy-five people uh, per however long that is moving in, so that's not too bad. We're making a bit of money. 
It's our budget like. How are our loans looking? We've got 40,000 left to pay. How, um... Well, that's ready. We can zone that and, uh... And we can zone some of this. Zone some commercial there, just because commercial is always nice. I don't really want to fill that with houses just yet, because I know they'll get demolished as soon as I run a road through there. Which, in fact, I'm probably going to go ahead and do now. 4,000 to do that. We wait for the money to just roll in. Rubbish seems to be getting a little bit taken care of. I've got to demolish some of these abandoned houses. Let some people who don't really mind the smell move in. Uh, did I just take the wrong one out again? I just took them both out. Imagine something like that happening in real life. The uh, the building next door to yours gets abandoned, so the, the council or the government moves in with bulldozers to demolish it, but just comes and demolishes your place instead. And the guy's just like, well, no, nope, that's what's written on my work order, so fuck you, I'm bulldozing it. You'd be a little bit annoyed, really, wouldn't you? You've worked your whole life, build up the business, and then the bulldozers roll in, and because of a clerical error, all your stuff gets bulldozed. It's like, no. Says number 20 on my sheet. And bulldozing number 20. But we're open for business. No. Nope. Number 20. Getting bulldozed. That's a bad curve. Uh, no, that's terrible. That's not much better, but... Uh, I'm actually going to add some straight connecting roads. Try not to demolish too many people's houses doing it. I get two. Can I do it where I only get one house? I think these houses are too small. Nope, there we go. That's one house. Can we get... No, we can't. Oh well. Right, let's zone this up. Mostly residential. With some commercial... Um, in certain areas. Excuse me, had a, a spot of hiccups there. Oh my god, this is... Why such small pieces? Alright, there we go. Now this area definitely is definitely going to need uh, some services. Like uh, fire brigade, police and whatnot. at the moment it doesn't have them ah oh, I don't even have enough money to lay a water pipe that just shows you the state of the city I think I don't know I will need it they need water um still losing citizens still not keeping on top of the rubbish collection for some reason even though the landfill is like right there is it just the amount of trucks that I've got can I can I buy more trucks? 18 of 18 used, 18 of 18 used. Can I just give them more money and be like, deal with it guys? Man up? Collect the rubbish? It's your sacred duty? Right, there we go. Crapstone finished. How's the rubbish looking over here? Absolutely terrible. Right, it's clearly because of the amount of garbage trucks we've got. 
Um, obviously need more. Well, we're getting close to the 30 minute mark. So I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, obviously leave me a like. I don't know if anybody even favourites these days. I don't even know if favourites are still a thing uh, in YouTube. Are they not connected? They're not even connected. Well, we'll demolish that. What's that? Are you worried because your land value is uh, quickly plummeting? Get me away. Low land value. Yeah, I thought so. Um, can we build anything? Can we build unique places? Statue of shopping. What's that? A plaza. Uh, friendly neighbourhood park. Nothing, nothing. And we can't have anything else. So, our population has gone exactly nowhere in this episode. The town has expanded, but still got some serious, serious, serious infrastructure problems. Uh, rubbish collection is the major issue. 19 of 19 trucks. Uh, garbage collection is now costing quite a lot of money. We need to get our population of 7,000 so that we can go ahead and buy an incinerator. Although I don't know how we're going to be able to afford an incinerator, considering that uh, I think it costs about 30,000 I built all of this land here for people to build houses on, but nobody even wants to move to the town, so that's not getting built. Well, hopefully next episode we can go ahead and fix all of these problems that we've just caused, or at least let run rampant over our town. So yeah, thanks very much for watching everybody. I've been Maxwell, this has been City Skylines. Uh, we've been taking residence in Crapsburg. Hopefully we can make it not so terrible a place to live in the next episode. So, I'll catch you guys next time.